What's up everybody? I hope you are having an amazing part of your day. It's Elijah the Boss Ninja here and today we are going to be doing some awesome new obstacles including this one that I just built. I have no idea what it's called. This was an original idea from Sam Folsom and I loved it so much I decided to build one in my backyard. Y'all are about to see a demo of it. It is going to be awesome and then after we go through the new obstacles that I built we are going to be running some qualifying courses because I leave for American Ninja Warrior extremely soon by the time you're seeing this video i might be leaving tomorrow which is just crazy so definitely be praying y'all drop some love down in the comment section below but without further ado let's just get right into it okay if you've never seen this obstacle before you are not alone it is a very new one i have no idea what sam Folsom calls it this is his invention this is just my recreation of his obstacle i'm gonna call it peg slammer though i think that is a awesome name and once you see what it does you will understand so these are gate latches and then you have these doorknobs so these gate latches when you flip the doorknob up it locks into place and then that does not come down until you reset it you can do it just across the doorknobs or with pegs in the middle it is so much fun i'm going to demonstrate it a bunch of different ways for y'all comment down below which way you like the best Okay, I genuinely love this obstacle. It is a static obstacle, so you're not even doing any crazy laches. You're literally just moving across these pegs, but it is so much fun. Super easy to build too. Just some gate latches, some two by fours. All in all, it'll probably cost you like 40 bucks to build. It is awesome. A great use of space too, because a ton of my kids just climb across them or they use ring toss on it. It is incredible. Great obstacle, Sam. Okay, now that we have done Peg Slammer, it's time to do a new obstacle. I'm gonna put some rock holds up here and you're gonna do an offset lache to those rock holds. So let's do a time lapse of me building them. Let's get it. All right, we have the obstacle built now. We've got to give it a shot. Both of these obstacles, Peg Slammer and whatever we're going to call this one, are going to be in the qualifying course today. So let's give this one a shot. Okay, believe it or not, this obstacle is actually harder than it looks. Those holds are offset and they're pretty hard to grab. They're kind of a special delivery as well. Pretty big ledges once you get in there, but again, you have to nail the hand placements. Now I want to show you all the time that I missed and I still tried to catch my hat while I missed. Check it out. I don't know why, you can't even really see it in the video, but I think it's so funny. So basically, I barely missed those crabs, and then my hat fell, and I was like, I tried to catch it, but I didn't. Ah, oh, fell on the ground. Brutal. But all in all, I really like that obstacle. Quick little build. Hopefully you enjoyed the time lapse. Now we're going to get into the other obstacles in the course. 
This is gonna be our second obstacle today. Starting off with a stronghold switch grip, lache to this nunchuck, lache to two more nunchucks, lache to this battering ram, and then a lache to the backwards bar. That cane will not be there. Lache to the backwards bar. This is obstacle two, jumper cables. Had to do it to him, had to pop the link on that one. Even though we didn't full link it, it was still really fun. Great second obstacle, those nunchucks are decently hard holds, you know. Definitely a few moves for an obstacle too. I think it's pretty good. Um, and then this balance obstacle, we're gonna have a split decision. Let's go. Okay, this is what we're rocking for split decision. This is my replica of burn rubber. Even though those are tires, I get it. This one is actually closer to burn rubber. And it may not look very far on camera, but these gaps are huge and these spin a lot. So this is very difficult. And then we have these tires set up. Y'all may remember these from my video last week, the Insane Balance courses. I've got them set up in a little bit of an interesting configuration. So we're gonna be demoing both of those for you right now. Okay, burn rubber was a little bit too easy, so I moved the gaps about a foot and a half farther. Now let's try it again and check it out. Okay, I think that's a lot more like it. Those strides felt a lot bigger. So that was my burn rubber. Now let's demo the tires. Oh yeah, tires are feeling good. Let's go in the hay dudes y'all know from the balance video we fell on the front tires first try not today we nailed them i am so stoked for that now since y'all know the fifth obstacle which is those pegs the lache over which is part of the fourth obstacle y'all know the split decision y'all know the second obstacle first obstacle is shrinking steps warped wall is number six that is our qualifying course for today now we just got to go out there and run it let's go
Let's go, boss fam. That is how I want to run a course. Just nice, smooth, nice and steady. Nothing too crazy fast, and it still ended up being very quick for a qualifying course. So that one was very good. Now we're going to run it again. Pick up the pace a little bit. Not too much, though. I like that nice dialed in uh, pace where I'm not going too, too fast. We're just not going to rest this time very much. So we'll see what this time is. We're going to get the full clear again. Let's go. There we go, boss fam. We got the clear for y'all way faster. Coming in and around right around two minutes. Very happy with that run. Super stoked. If you liked these courses and you liked watching me run them, <laughs> please go down, subscribe, like, share this video with all your friends, random people you meet in the grocery stores, wherever. We're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers, 100,000 subscribers, a million subscribers, whatever. So please join this boss fam we have here and uh, hit the subscribe button. And if you love fitness, also hit the subscribe button. And uh, if you like watching me more and more, just hit the subscribe button. And if you like the word boss, hit the subscribe button. And um, yeah, that's about it. And if you're cool, like the subscribe button.